Welcome to Target the Trade. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today, I'd like to break down a trade that is not just relevant for now, but it's going to probably be relevant for the next 24 months. And that's JP Morgan. But before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and do share, especially if you find value in this presentation. Okay, so let's break it down. JP Morgan, the largest financial institution in the world by far. Okay, it's also one of the oldest financial institutions. It's as it's probably the second most important entity in the United States, and that's after the FOMC, okay? So you have the Federal Reserve, and then you have JP Morgan, and probably Goldman Sachs after that. And the reason is, is that JP Morgan works very closely with the federal government in terms of issuing bonds, in terms of providing financial services, uh, and giving some feedback to the Federal Reserve, and it's almost hand in hand, okay? So it's a huge, financial institution in the United States. It's run by a gentleman by the name of Jamie Dimon. Now, Jamie has uh, mentioned just the other day that he's looking to find a replacement within the next five years, which means that he's going to be stepping down. He's currently about 68 years old, and that's honestly a really good time for him to transition into his retirement. And, you know, he stands out as probably one of the best financiers that we've had. He was taught by some of the industry's best, including Sandy Whale. So the company has really revamped itself over the past, I would say, 15 years and really stepped into one of the largest financial institutions in history. Okay. And that's a really big accomplishment for him in his lifetime. All right. So breaking down the trade. Okay. So we're going to first look at a daily and then we're going to jump into a monthly. Okay. So this is taking us back for some time and you see since October 2023, we've been in upwards momentum. Okay. This is a straight upwards momentum from about $138 to $200 a share. And that has finally been broken with a major correction. And this correction really reflects when he actually mentioned that he was going to be stepping down. That's how important his position is at JP Morgan. All right, now the stock is meant to recover. It just taped off over about $10 from $200, and that's about, you know, 5% of its of its trading price, okay? It recovered about $5, so that came back. So it's about only $5 away from its all-time record highs. But nevertheless, this is really an important trade that's going to be developing itself. Now, the banking industry actually does very well in an inflationary environment. When interest rates are high, their margins are higher, and as a result, they're making more money. With that said, the stock price goes high. Okay, that's this simple part of it. However, when we look at a monthly chart, and this is really where it's very important, is that we see the steady incline, and we see it continue even further. But if you look at the RSI, it's not breaking higher. Okay, this lower histogram that we have here is the RSI and it's not breaking higher. So the upwards momentum actually could be stabbed off, both because of an economic force or economic environment that we're currently in, and both because Jamie Dimon will be stepping down. Okay, now I'm not celebrating, I'm not saying it's the end of JP Morgan. I'm just highlighting the fact that there's an error that's going to be transitioning here, and Wall Street doesn't like uncertainty. And this creates a certain amount of uncertainty about the projection of the company. Now, obviously, they're going to choose someone who's going to be very much close to reflecting some of the values and the virtues of the company that has made JP Morgan what it is today. But nonetheless, that transition is always, you know, a question mark transition. So keep this in mind as this has made new all time record highs to $200 a share and pushed even further to $205 a share. And it's only a matter of time whether or not it's going to correct itself, both economically because inflation is staggering and it's under control, at least for now, with the Fed keeping interest rates so high. But nevertheless, interest rates are going, interest rates are going to be tapering off at some point. So that's going to be something that's going to affect the stock as well. So keep this in mind, and especially if it does make a double top, all right, or a triple top, where we might see it having congestion up here, not necessarily breaking out higher and higher, but we may see it actually making a congestion and just trading in a range until it makes some sort of correction. So keep that in mind. This is an unfolding story that is sure to keep on your watcher for future opportunities. Thank you for joining me for Target the Trade. We'll see you here next time.